Tonight, my message is for the voters of our Junit GRC. It's good to know some of you are here, yeah. Polling day is three days away. Many of you may have made up your minds on how to cast your vote. Thank you. But some of you may still be assessing whether we, the Workers' Party team, are worthy of your votes. Should you take a chance with us? Some of you have been asking whether we have any plans for Aljunit GRC. Mr. Lau is talking tonight about some of those issues. For my part, I would like to assure you that the Workers' Party already knows something about you, the Aljunit residents. Even though we have no official status in our Junit GRC. The Workers' Party has over the years committed ourselves to communicate with you to understand more about you, the people we hope to serve. We have been visiting flats in our Junit GRC for the last nine years, since 2002. We have met many of you living in Pongo, near Aukang Mall and the Polyclinic, through to Coven, Paya Lebar, Lorong Asu, and at Yunos and Bedok Reservoir. There are more than 500 blocks of public housing in our Junit GRC. We have done our best to visit each household and knock on every door, usually in the evenings when we get off from work or on Sundays. Since the boundaries were redrawn in February to include Kaki Bukit, we have also visited Kaki Bukit residents during the weekdays. For those of you living in private property, we have not managed to visit you door to door. This is not because we do not care about you, but simply because we work on leaner resources than the PAP. We seek your understanding. We shared with you information about the Workers' Party to give you a fuller understanding of our party's beliefs and what we hope to do for the people. We have also explained to you about voting secrecy. At the same time, we ask you to share with us your concerns and aspirations for yourself and your families. Why did we ask you this? Because we want to understand your needs and desires, what keeps you awake at night, and how we can focus our attention on the things which matter to you. In the course of our visits to you, we have learned a lot. For instance, we have become quite familiar with the different configurations of HDB blocks in our unit. In terms of block sizes, we know that there are small blocks with as few as 16 units in Wokak Flats at Aukang Avenue 10, and large blocks with nearly 300 units in Burdock Reservoir and Kaki Bukit. In the last few years, many blocks have undergone the Lift Upgrading Program, or LUP, in line with flats all over Singapore under a national program. You have shared with us your views on the LUP and other upgrading programs, including your dissatisfactions and how they can be improved. We have noted these points. We have also observed other local concerns. For instance, there is a shortage of seasoned car park spaces for residents in certain areas like Serangoon North and Pongo. Some blocks in Fire Labour and Pongo are facing harassment from loan sharks. Older residents find it difficult to go from Upper Serangoon Road to the city due to bus routes being removed. Some of you feel that your blocks in Burdock Reservoir and Paya Labour have not been well maintained. Besides local concerns, you highlighted wider issues which have affected you deeply. These topics include the rising cost of living, high prices of HDB flats, CPF money being locked up 
and John Tao Cage being pushed back? How you will pay your housing loan when you reach 55 years old since your CPF money is locked up for the minimum sum? Difficulties of workers above 40 years old finding work. Cost of health care, especially for cancer and kidney failure. How working class families cope with special needs children and disabled adults. Some of you are reasonably well off and comfortable. But there are also others who struggle daily. For instance, a block in Kaki Bukit of one-room rental flats where we encountered single fathers cooking for their children, divorcees with housing problems, and ex-prisoners trying to reintegrate into society. It may not be possible to solve all your problems, but we are very aware of the issues that matter to you. Elect us into Parliament and we will work hard with you to resolve them. As your MPs, what we say in Parliament on your behalf will carry weight because we have been duly elected and have your mandate. Being elected will give us the official capacity to deal with government departments on your behalf and the government will have to answer our questions. So, we come back to the question I asked you in the beginning. Why should you take a chance on us, the Workers' Party team? Can't the PAP team do better? You have seen for yourself in the last few days how political competition makes the government more sensitive to the concerns of Singaporeans. I do not think I need to elaborate. You can read the Prime Minister's apology for yourself. Our Workers' Party team will listen to you and look into all your requests. We are also confident that we will be able to run the Town Council well, just as we have done in Aukang. with my teammate Faisal on the ground in Aljunit GRC for many years. Together with several other Workers' Party members and volunteers, Chen Shou Mao and Pitang Singh have also been working here ever since they were assigned to this area. Mr. Lau is familiar with Aljunit due to its closeness with Aukang. So as we said on nomination day, our team is committed to serving you to the best of our ability. Dear alternate voters, give a First World Parliament a chance. You can make it happen. Vote for the Workers' Party towards a First World Parliament.